Hello, I'm Amber Uper, and this is a model kit review. And for this review, we have an interesting model here. Uh, this is a kit made by Heller of France, and this is a 172nd scale AMD Mirage F1C slash B. I believe this may be the first jet aircraft model kit that I have done a review on. Interesting. And this particular kit is a vintage kit. I don't know if there's if Heller still makes these or whatever. You can kind of tell by the box that it's not a new kit. And I'm sure that this kit was obtained off the vintage kit market on eBay. And so here's the side of the box. One side anyway. There's a couple of different versions of the jet here. Um, different paint schemes. And I believe this side is the same. Here's your end. So let's see what's in the box, shall we? All right, here's your instructions. There's several sheets here. There's the decals. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's, uh, let's see what's in these instructions first now. Okay. So this is in English. Uh, and all the other languages. So this, let's see, what is this for? This is the history. Um, here's your list of parts uh, and the numbers that go with them. And I think the numbers are all on the sprue so that you can figure out which part is what. Okay. Then we have this instruction sheet. And this is, looks like this is in French. And so let's look at this one. This is a second one. So I think these two are the, are the two sheets for the instructions. Sure looks like it. All right. So let's start. We can figure out, this must be the start here. Okay. So, that's French language. Yep, all right. So we start with the main body, the fuselage, I should say. You get the two body halves, there's a top piece. Uh, let's see, if you're making the F1B version, there's a different top piece, apparently. And here's your, your vertical tail surface. That must be the uh, rear end of the engine, the exhaust. Uh, of the engine, your wings, basic stuff, your air scoops, a couple of little parts. So then we turn it over and we get, here's your nose area, and the cockpit, yeah, it's got the seat and the floor of the cockpit and, and the nose parts. I think maybe, is that separate? Yeah, that uh, attaches to the main fuselage. So, so this is a separate assembly here that attaches to the main fuselage. Here you've got your nose wheel, your nose landing gear, um, the nose cone itself. So that's pretty explanatory. That's for one version, the F1C. Here's the F1B, which is a two-seat version. And it's got a different uh, part for the Cockpit floor, uh, two seats instead of one, more canopy stuff. So, there's that. And let's see here. This is uh, adding parts to the exterior. You got your wing landing gear here, missile for the wing tip. And here's some information on how you build the, the wheels, the rear landing wheels. Uh, or landing gear, I should say. The angle that it's supposed to be at and all of that. And it fits onto the body. Okay. There's that sheet. Then we get to this sheet. Here's the last of the assembly instructions. Shows you uh, bombs and the bomb rack. That's probably a fuel tank. And here's another fuel tank. And your under the wing um, missiles and then this shows the loadout how it would have 
bend on the airplane depending on what you choose to mount on the on the airplane for your loadout. So then we have some basic painting instructions here. And uh, here's decal instructions for different units. Looks like Normandy, Lorraine, Vendee, however you pronounce that. So yeah, these are all just different um, decaling for different units, I suppose. So that's a pretty good set of instructions. It gives you a lot of options here. So that's nice. So we'll put these over here. Here's the, the decals. I'm not sure. Oh, I guess it's this way. For the Mirage F1. Let's see if I can get them closer to the camera so you get a better view of them. Without glare, that's always good. So there's a lot of uh, different um, decals on here for different versions of the, for different units of the airplane, I suppose. So let's take a look at the parts. And of course, the first thing that comes up is the clear plastic parts for the canopy. And as always, these are hard to show. But uh, there they are. And then we have this sprue, which is your main body halves. And I think these are the forward body halves here. And you've got, I believe these are the tail wings because, yeah, these are the tail wings. Um, you've got both of your cockpit buckets. This is for the single seat. This is for the double seat. So there's that sprue. And we've got this sprue. And this is the nose section. You know what these are? I think this might be that mouth. Well, oh, I know what it is. It's a different nose section is what it is. Yeah, this one is probably for the single seat. And this one looks like it might. Eh, it's hard to say. I'm sure it'll say in the instructions which one is which. Or this is an alternate uh, nose section. Forward fuselage section is a better way to put it. I believe these are parts of your air intake scoops. Here's your engine exhaust, your seats for the uh, cockpit. There's two of them. I assume that if you're going to build a single seat, you just use one of them. Here's your landing gear wheels. Let's see what else is on here. Your instrument panels. This looks like the, for the two seat because it's got two different ones there. Perhaps you use this one if it's a single seat. Another thing the instructions will tell you. So here's your wings. It's the upper wing surfaces. Now here's your the piece that goes on the back. And the difference in, is the length here. And I believe that's because the short one is for the two-seater and the long one is for the single-seater. All right, so you got that. Starting to wonder what these wings are for. If they're a different version of the... No, these are tail. This is the vertical tail surface. That's what that is, yeah. Okay, here's your main wings. Here's uh, your... your uh, that's the horizontal tail wings. Okay, this is the upper wing. This is the lower wing. That's about... That's all there is on this sprue. And then we get to the last sprue. And here's a lot of your detail parts. Yeah, it's your bombs, your missiles, different kinds of missiles, fuel tanks. Uh, I guess you could call them wing tanks. They hang under the wing, right? Um, mounting points for under the wings. Let's see. Not sure what these are for, but I know the instructions will tell you what they're for. So this looks like a mounting point for under the body, actually. So yeah, there's all the, there's all the parts right there. So let's uh, let's just get the parts back in the box. We got that sprue, and then this sprue, and like I said, it's probably that you just use one seat for the single seat version, one of these two, and then you use probably this instrument panel for the single seater, and both of them for the double seater. Because that's all there is in the kit. And your wings. 
and your fuselage halves and your cockpit floors. Here's the clear parts. Decals. Three pages of instructions. Typical of Heller, they give you lots of instructions. And there is the cover. And there is my model kit review for the Heller 172nd scale AMD Mirage F1C or B, depending on which version you choose to build. Thanks for watching.